Hi guys, so today we are going to see the logarithmic limiter problem. This is problem 359 in the code. So the problem says that you have to design a logger system that receives a stream of messages along with its timestamps. Each message should be printed if and only if it is not printed in the last 10 seconds. Okay. So given a message and a timestamp in seconds granularity written true, the message should be printed in the given timestamp, otherwise it returns false. It's possible that several messages arrive roughly at the same time. So if you see, there is a method called boolean, should print message, it takes in a timestamp and a message. And uh, if you see the description above it, it says like returns true if the message should be printed in the given timestamp, otherwise it should return false. So if this method returns false, then the message will not be printed. The timestamp is in seconds granularity. And if you see down, your logger object will be instantiated and called as such logger object equal to new logger and then boolean param one underscore one equal to object or should print message of timestamp comma message. So this method is called. Okay. Let's see the example quickly. So logger logger equal to new logger. So logger dot should print message one comma four four is the message we are seeing it for the first time. So it is going to return true. And then we're seeing a message bar at 2, and bar is a message that we have not seen earlier. We have seen only foo, so we'll return true. And then we're seeing the foo message at timestamp 3, but then the previous timestamp was 1, so 3 minus 2 is definitely not greater than or equal to 10, right? So, which means we should return false, uh, instructing the system not to print this message. And then at 8, we are receiving another message bar, and bar is a message that we received at timestamp 2, so 8 minus 2 is 6. So which is definitely not greater than or equal to 10, so which means we should return false. And then we're re receiving this full message at timestamp 10. So previous timestamp where we printed was 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9, which is definitely not greater than or equal to 10, so we should return false, instructing the system to ignore this message. And then we're receiving foo again at timestamp 11, which means that, you know, the we have received it at 1, so 11 minus 1 is 10, which is greater than or equal to 10, which means we can safely print this message because the timestamp duration is exceeded 10 seconds. Okay. So this is a very simple problem. So you can, you know, have a hash map or dictionary which takes in the message and the timestamp. So if you're seeing the message again, Right, we can retrieve the old timestamp and basically calculate the difference between the old timestamp and the current timestamp and see if it is greater than or equal to 10 seconds. If so, we'll print the message, otherwise, we'll ignore the message, it'll basically return false. And if you're seeing the message the first time, then you're going to print the message and put it in the hash map. Okay, so a very simple problem. So, we're just going to have a string and enter just going to be your uh, um, timestamp. So I've got this hash map. So I'm quickly going to initialize it within this logger class. Okay. And this is going to be new and okay. So so initially if it, this is this the message is not present in the hash map. So hash map dot contains if this message is not present, right? Then we will put it in the hash map hash map dot put we'll put this message as well as its timestamp and then we'll say return true which means telling the system go ahead and print it whereas if this is present then we'll return the previous timestamp okay and so hash map uh, dot get of this message okay and we'll calculate the distances, the current timestamp is timestamp, so minus uh, previous timestamp. Okay, if this is greater than or equal to 10, then we can, you know, update the hash map, basically do the same thing, update the hash map with the current timestamp, and otherwise, we're just going to return false, which means don't print it. Let's run this. Okay, so just a spelling mistake. Again, a spelling mistake. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's accepted. Let's go ahead and submit it. So it got accepted. So that's it, guys. So this is. If you remember, this logger rate limiter is actually a variation of, uh, you know, um, the leaky bucket or 
rate limiting algorithms you can say uh, so an interested uh, you know viewers can explore about rate limiting and the other leaky bucket and sliding window and sliding log and other related algorithms in this regard but this is a very simple example where you can use the hash map related uh, data structure to basically ignore messages which have arrived within a particular timestamp thanks guys bye